Hello, everybody, and ladies and gentlemen. This is Stephen again. Um, I haven't made a video for a while, and it's been a lot. It's been a while, maybe about mm, three weeks or so. And here I am, brave enough to open up my m mouth again. Um, just a moment. I've got a phone call coming in. Uh, find my phone here real quick. Hold on a second, a second. Hello? Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, no, I was just doing... No, I was just doing a video real quick, and I'm I'm, I'm on the phone with you right now doing a video. <laughs> right now, so. Who said that? Beach Price. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. She may deal with you. Okay, some kind of like plea thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to finish this video up real quick. I'm in the middle of it right now, okay? Okay? I love you. See you but later. Late. Late. See ya. Okay. Hello, that was just uh, Cindy calling. She's out. Um, down at the store. My cat's getting on here too. Want to get on here? Uh, hold on, Lucy. Uh, anyway, my topic for today was to follow up with. Um, okay, I'll follow up with a few things if you like me to. Uh, Cindy went to the doctor this last week. Okay, okay. she's doing fantastic so far. Um, the doctor says she's lo you know she's losing weight and everything like she's supposed to. But there's still risk factors as far as doing, um, you know, surgeries and stuff that she needs to get done for her case. Because the DVT, the, you know, deep vein thrombosis, and um, she's at risk of Burger Syndrome. They call it Burger Syndrome. I don't know if a lot of people have heard of Burger Syndrome, but a, a lot of people with, that are heavy smokers, tend, we were just talking about smoking too on the phone because she's picking cigarettes, tend to have Burger Syndrome can get burger syndrome and that's usually associated with blood clots, diabetes and all that other stuff like that anyway she's on still on the hard stuff the oxycontin because she has to take it so but no it's it's her life so she's got to do what she got to do so <laughs> i ain't gonna tell her what to do so but anyway the topic i'm not here to i'm sorry about the interruption in the video anyway i'll gotta try and catch up on the video here so I'll catch up real fast as I can. Uh, my cat's keeping me busy here. Um, it's great to be on Facebook, number one. It's great to have friends like you guys out there for support. Keep keep her in mind. And uh, it's, again, Cindy. You know, Cindy Farmer, naturally. But um, for the record, I always um, just keep her in the prayers, you know. Drop her line once in a while. Drop me a line once in a while, of course, because I'm the one that's making this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know I look a little bit pale, maybe pale today, but my hair's a little bit long and stuff. But oh well. But um, I've came as far so far, and I'm just trying to get more. I don't have trying to get more viewers to like my videos. You see, I don't have a lot of viewers right now that like my video. It seems that it seems to be anyway, but. Probably because, I don't know, I just got to think of more things to talk about. I, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some things right now, though. Okay, remember when I talked about benzos? Okay, I know. Well, here we go again. We'll just go ahead and go over a few things with it. Okay. A lot of people seem to shy away from the, say, benzo or benzos are addicting because they're anxiolytics or whatever. Uh, a lot of people don't know the anxiolytics. But anyway, they're, like, Valium gives... A bad name, okay. Just the word Valium gives, it, like, it gives it a bad like the, like the song gives it, you know, gives it a bad name. No, anyway, um, uh, cigarettes kill you. <laughs> benzene kills you. That's not drug. I mean, the benzo, benzene, and Twinkies that kills you. Okay, it was found out poison control. 
okay um, a lot of these chemicals from the FDA kill you so what makes that any worse than anything else and I, I'm not glorifying drugs number one but I will, will say one thing and make a point now please I'll make it real short and easy and sweet okay Cindy takes oxycontin okay and it's very strong medication like I told you and um, I'd rather see her take that than go inject it in something in her arm you know what I'm saying people should not Ill make that illegal because if they make it illegal there'll be a lot more people out there getting AIDS getting stuff and I mean all kinds of diseases I'd rather have a clean arm if I was on, let's say, if I was on, I mean, the straight Oxycon, I'd rather have a clean arm than, a, you know, shot up, shooting up all the time, you know what I'm saying? There's a snip, there's no point in shooting up, you know? I mean, if you want to feel high, get high. I mean, there's other ways to get high. Smoke a damn freaking weed or bowl or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But to mellow you out, whatever, you know? But if there's a medication really to get truthful with you guys that your doctor gives you, okay? Don't alter the medication. That's the number one rule. If you alter the alter your medication, you're gonna you're gonna piss off a lot of you know, your your doctor's trying there to try to help you. You're gonna piss off a lot of people. Not just piss off a lot of people, you're gonna hurt your own self. That's the main thing. Just like me, I, if I don't take my pill one time, I hurt myself, you know. I screwed up my back, you know, so I, I don't like, I mean, I take, nar I take narco and then it hurts my back too much, so. But now I'm on Percocets, so I've been on for quite a long time, and I, I can feel it whenever I come off of them, you know, in the morning. I mean, believe me, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, I almost got oxy code in it's the same thing as oxycontin but this is a lower grade of mixture like I told you in the past and uh, matter of fact it's time for my dose I, this is oxycodone and I take it so I'm gonna take one right now for the record and this is what mine look like it's called Tylox and you take the pill it looks like coke all you do is I mean, a lot of people don't know this. I shouldn't be giving education because this is not good education to give to, to especially kids. But grown ups or whatever is okay, but not kids. Well, kids maybe too. I mean, you shouldn't be giving education like this to kids. But anyway, I'll, just, I'll break it down really fast and everything. But you know how they say that OPs, you, you know, you can't, you crush them up, they turn into toothpaste, toothpaste and they're ruined. Okay, that's true. Okay. Now, the OCs or the old ones, we can crush them up. That's why they came out with the oxymorphone. Morphone? Yeah, that, that comes into Opana, 40 milligrams, equivalents to 80 milligrams of, of oxycontin. Okay, this is not that. This is oxycodone and Percocet. You know, the old joke says, oh, please, you know, I'm going to Harvard school. Take a Percocet. You know, because Percocet's like an Adderall. It helps you, it helps you back, and it also helps you think. For me, I will tell you how it makes me feel. It makes my back feel a lot better. Whoops, get dark there for a second. It makes my back feel a lot better. It makes me feel like I'm, I mean, and you feel a lot better, so smarter. I mean, I'm not glorifying here. I, yes, I am glorifying it a little bit for this drug. Cause it, see, that's part of it why they say that there's an attic in you. There's an attic in every person, actually. I'll, I'll go ahead and summarize this all up. The war will never stop on drugs. I guarantee it. The war will never stop on drugs. I can repeat myself a million times, folks. You guys know that I'm right, true about this. I, I mean, if they... I mean, if they regulated every single drug out there, it's still going to get smuggled in the country somehow, or some way. And there'd be more killings, and more shootings, and more and more theft, and more, I don't know how to, what else to say. Yeah, more robberies, as far as um, pharmacy robberies, shootings, you name it. But anyway, I, yes, I believe in recovery, okay? Okay, if lungs are not taking too much, you're fine. 
don't never that's why I said don't alter your medication just take what you prescribe and that's it end of story now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Percocet and call it a you know call it a last video day for right now I don't know if I'm gonna be making any more videos for a while but I'll try to make some videos like I said I'm sorry I got in the middle of a phone call with Cindy <laughs> when she called and everything so it's time for me to take my Percocet and I mean I know that a lot of people are probably thinking I'm showing off whatever I'm not I'm just being me I'm probably gonna play some music in a little while some rock and roll and stuff so I mean look it's better than drinking what the hell I'm not drinking alcohol and nothing like that I'm taking what I'm I'm drinking my coke every time I say coke they think I'm saying cocaine yeah it's my girl coke you know we got the wrong idea <laughs> anyway I'm gonna take my coke down my pill Percocet oxycodone and that's it nothing wrong with that okay her hers are totally different on her pills they're very expensive they're hard to get you need to pay a lot of money for cash but anyway um, she takes hers for a different reason maybe I should tell you why she takes them. okay spinal stenosis okay I'll give you a fast uh, detail I'll give you a fast diagnosis real quick spinal stenosis okay L1 through 5 Okay, disc. Okay, and S1, bulging disc. Okay, bulging out so much it's like a rock laying on a rock. Set, stand, lay. Can't do that. Other question for it. Fibromyalgia. Try to get Lyrica. No good. No, doesn't work. It only it works on nerves. Okay, GABA is what you need to hit. The GABA is the neurological system. GAB. That's well, that's part of. Xanax too, and take Xanax. That's where Xanax goes. Is it hits the GAB uh, neurotransmitters. You guys you know, that out there don't know what GAB is. It's neurotransmitters. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this before I bore the hell the hell out of you and start start sound like a Stanford law student or something like that, or or some doctor or whatever that I'm not. So I better shut up while I can. So. I'm only in the pharmaceutical, uh, as far as pharmaceutical knowledge and uh, psychology, you know, a few years in that too also. I took three and three and a half years of that. Didn't finish that, but I wish I would have. But I don't give a damn what people think about it. I told you, I don't give a damn what people think about me as far as Xanax or Percocets or whatever that I'm prescribed. Legal. It's like a lot of people have legal marijuana out there. A lot of people are smoking illegal marijuana in 15 states now. I've heard. Okay, in California, of course, we have it everywhere. So, or out here, <laughs> so including shootings and everything, but <laughs> crazy. But anyway, uh, there would be a lot, a lot more shooting. Well, there still is. But anyway, I'm not gonna get in that case. The next topic I'll be top. I'll talk about. Um, I'll try to think of a show or something. I'll try to make a show or think of something fun for all of us to do. Who knows? Maybe they'll make a worldwide thing, you know, thing on. So. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it uh, this video off now. And I'm going to say goodbye. And that's about it, guys. That's all I got for today. And I'll one more thing. Yes, I do love Cindy. Okay, guys. Anybody out there that does not believe that I love Cindy are idiots. Okay? I was just, I mean, no disrespect to anybody out there. But for the people that have any thoughts that don't love Cindy, they're way off course. Okay. I mean, yes, I, I'm i over nice. Okay. I'm nice. I'll admit to that. But there's nothing wrong with being over nice. I don't, that's my opinion, though. Okay. Like the old saying is, you can look, but you can't touch. I, I mean, I mean, sure. Vince Neil probably thinks the same thing. Well, probably more than that, actually, but I can't. I mean, I can't speak for Vince Neil. Okay, Vince Neil is Vince Neil. He's a wild sucker, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, Nikki Six is a wild with heroin and everything, heroin diaries. But um, anyway, I was one. <laughs> Nikki Six, at least he cleaned his freaking life up. Life up, excuse me, I'm tongue tied now. But anyway, I just want to let you <laughs> finish this video up here. I'm talking now. Now it's kicking in. Purposes made me talk about 90 miles an hour. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, anyway, she goes for her PTTs, um, which was 118 last time. 
uh, really very, very, very high, two, two highs, so between two and three on INR, by the INR levels with the ratios, so you want between two and three. But anyway, I'll let you know how it, uh, give your progress report on her spinal stenosis and her neuropathy, neuro neuropathy, but peripheral neuropathy. It's diabetic peripheral neuropathy, that's what they call it. Okay. For right now, I got Jet. I gotta get out of here and say goodbye because I gotta help her get some stuff in, you see. So, I'm gonna say in here too, what to get on here. Uh, hold on, Lucy. Uh, anyway, my topic for today was to follow up with, um, okay, I'll follow up with a few things if you like me to. Uh, Cindy went to the doctor this last week. Okay, okay. she's doing fantastic so far. Um, the doctor says she's lo you know she's losing weight and everything like she's supposed to, but there's still risk factors as far as doing um, you know surgeries and stuff that she needs to get done for her case. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, no, I was just doing. No, I was just doing a video real quick, and I'm I'm, I'm on the phone with you right now doing a video <laughs> right now, so. Who said that? Beach Price. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. She ain't deal with you. Okay. Some kind of, of the DVT, they, you know, deep vein thrombosis. And um, she's at risk of Burger Syndrome. They call it Burger Syndrome. I don't know if a lot of people have heard of Burger Syndrome. But a, a lot of people with uh, heavy smokers. Tend, we were just talking about smoking too on the phone because she's picking cigarettes. Tend to have burger syndrome. Can get burger syndrome. And that's usually associated with blood clots, diabetes, and all that other stuff like that. Anyway, she's on, still on the hard stuff, the Oxycontin, because she has to take it. So, it looks like plea thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna finish this video up real quick. I'm in the middle of it right now. Okay. Okay. I love you. See you, but later. Late. Late. See ya. Okay. Hello. That was just uh, Cindy calling. She's out um, down at the store. My cat's getting on. Hello, everybody, and ladies and gentlemen. This is Stephen again. Um, I haven't made a video for a while, and it's been a lot. It's been a while, maybe about mm, three weeks or so. And here I am, brave enough to open up my m mouth again. Um, just a moment. We've got a phone call coming in. Uh, find my phone here real quick. Hold on a second. A second. Hello?